Servus and welcome to your Audi Digital Summer Tour Studio. I'm Kati, your host, and it's time for your daily live show. Today was match day. We will talk about that in a second. Yesterday, I had President Herbert Heiner sitting next to me. In case you missed the show, don't worry. Head over to the FC Bayern YouTube channel where you can find all the video content, including this show, in full length. Also, if you want to talk to us, maybe ask questions to the live guests on the show, please do so via our social media platforms using the hashtag AudiFCB tour. Today I have a very special guest waiting for me already. Vicente Di Sarazu will talk to us because we have a lot to talk about. Today was match day against Olympique Marseille. One goal by Serge Gnabry. We will see that in a second also and we will get the first post-game interview as well. And then we have so much fun stuff going on for you guys. We have Josua Kimmich, Leon Goretzka, Thomas Müller, Robert Lewandowski, Serge Gnabry, Javi Martinez and Steve Aoki. So stay tuned. We have a lot to do. Let's get started. So I already told you I have a guest waiting for me. He played for both teams that tested today, actually. He played f for Bayern from 1997 till 2004. Then he decided to play a few games for Olympique Marseille, only to return to Bayern, where he ended his career in 2006. And now he's here with us again. Vicente Lizarazu, welcome. Hello. Thank you, Kati. Hello, everybody. So, unfortunately, you told us there was no possibility for you to watch the match in France today. But you did have a look. You said you're a professional, so we can talk about it anyway. I told you there was only one goal. And we can, I think, we can start by just ha having a look at that goal. Serge Nabri in the first half. Let's have a look. Alaba maybe with the next chance. Here's the pass. Nabri. In the box, Serge Gnabry, still Serge Gnabry, and there it is. Beautiful first goal of the Bayern Munich, 19 minutes. Yeah, that was a short inside of the game. The full highlights we will have tomorrow on the show for you guys. Um, well, you do know French football very well. Maybe we can start off by just saying, what do you think Olympique Marseille? Was that a good preparation game in order for, you know, to prepare for the Champions League? Yes, it's uh, it's important. Uh, we know the situation is a little bit uh, strange at the moment uh, with some uh, competition finish like in France and other competition like in Germany or in Italy or, 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 or Spain continue. So it's important to have a good preparation and every friendly match are important for the Champions League, especially for, for Bayern. Hansi Flick started the game off with a very strong lineup. You have already had a look. Um, what can you tell us from your perspective? Do you think that's the kind of lineup we can also expect for the game against Chelsea? Difficult to say, but uh, we know the, 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 the quality of, uh, of Bayern and we know also that uh, Pava is injured now and so Kimmich uh, will probably play on the right side which, which changed the middle field of, of Bayern and today it was Alcantara uh, with uh, Goretzka. Um, then in the offensive you can have different movement. Uh, I don't know the, the, the physical situation of the player. Uh, we know that Coman can play too, uh, uh, but today it was Lewandowski, Niabri and, and Perisic. Um, you know, the situation for the trainer, uh, for every trainer, uh, which is very difficult, it's the physical condition of the player. Mm. Uh, and I think the trainer can change the, the tactic re regarding this aspect. Mm -hmm. We already have uh, the first post-game interview after the game. Jerome Boateng answered some questions. Let's listen to that. How are you? How happy are you with the team's performance today? It was very hot, I think. Yeah, it was very hot. I'm super happy, of course. We won and we had a great performance. And I think it was very important for us uh, in front of the Chelsea game that we have a competition game against a good team. And I think uh, with these temperatures, it was not easy, but we did a very good job. Many of the things in this game reminded me of what you showed in the past season. Is that what you were trying to achieve today, to play similarly again, to reach that level quickly again? Yes, of course, we want to try to reach a high level like we played when we finished the league and the DFB final uh, Pokal in Germany. So I think we are on a good way, but we still have some days to go to get our rhythm. But I think for now we are happy with the win, but we still have work to do. 
It's the second restart you're experiencing this season. How weird is that, and how are you coping with that? It's been a really, really long season so far, and how confident are you that you can maintain this level in the next couple of weeks? Well, we knew that this is uh, what's happening for us. Of course, it's weird. It's a new situation for everybody. Now the English teams are uh, in the rhythm because they played the league uh, after us. But we have to take it how it comes. So we just want to focus and play our best football and see how far we come. Of course, the whole focus of the team right now is for the Champions League game against Chelsea. Vicente, what do you think? What can we expect in this game and, of course, hopefully in the tournament afterwards? Well, the 3-0, the of course, is fantastic performance. But um, like Boateng said, um, the English team and, and, and Chelsea, they, they are in a good rhythm because they, they finish... Um, later and what is difficult is to make a restart you know Bayern they 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 make two restarts huh, for finish the season and then to start again for the Champions League so this is not something easy to manage but I believe that the 3-0 is enough you know to control that you play at home uh, even if uh, <laughs> to play at home at the moment it's not uh, something uh, uh, you can you can say you know and uh, but the, the free the 3-0 is Very good results. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk about two players in particular. First of all, um, we were happy to see that Niklas Süle is back on the pitch. He had a, a fairly bad ACL tear and uh, today he, was, he had a chance to play again. Of course, you know, as a player, you had injuries, similar injuries. How difficult is it to get back and then how eager are you to get back when you're back on the pitch? When you play in a team like Bayern, uh, it's always difficult to have an injury because you need the time to come back from the, the, the injury and then you need the time to have the rhythmus. And uh, if you don't play too much, like Hernandez, uh, for example, then you, it's difficult to have the rhythmus and to play your best football. So for, for Zulo, it will be the same, you know, to, to come into the team. It will need time. It will need to play a lot to uh, have his best physical condition, you know, and uh, so you have to be patient uh, and, and coming step by step. Mm -hmm. We have a fan tweet uh, regarding Alfonso Davis. Um, it's from uh, Prabhat. As a left back yourself, what impresses you most about Alfonso Davis and what attributes do you think he needs to develop upon? He's fantastic regarding the offensive aspect. He's so quick, amazing. Amazing, quick, and and this is important in uh, football. Uh, you have a good uh, a potential, you know, in attack. And let's say that's what you have to train. Maybe his position, like a defensive player, um, the correct position regarding the other defensive player, because there is always a tactic part, and you have to make the difference together. And so he, he needs more experience. He, he needs more practice to to uh, to make the difference together with the other one but even if he's making a, a defensive mistake <laughs> he's so quick that uh, you know he's coming back and and uh, at the ball again so uh, he had this quality with fantastic the speedness is amazing okay well enough about sports for now let's talk about yourself a little bit first of all where can we reach you and what are you doing in your life right now so now I'm um, um, making commentary of uh, football and analysis of football. So, for example, I work for TF1 and making the World Cup, the European Championship, and uh, and talking about the match of the French national team. Mm -hmm. uh, I will work this year also for the league, the French league, and uh, I will make the commentary of the final of the Champions League too. Uh, so I hope Bayern will play the final. <laughs> it will be great to see, I don't know, Bayern against Paris Saint-Germain. And uh, so this is my job. I work for TV, for radio, and also I'm writing a column for L'Equipe, the newspaper L'Equipe. Mm -hmm. So, so my, my, my job is in the media. And... Uh Besides all of that, you are also keeping very fit, I think. You're a sports fanatic. We have footage of you doing some surfing and some karate. How's your sports uh, career keep going right now after your official career as a soccer player? Well, I, I like to eat a lot, so I have to do a lot of sports if I don't want to be too, too big, you know? <laughs> no, this is, uh, this is uh, sports is, uh, well... 
as you know, uh, football was so important for, for me and also sports, you know, sports is necessary for my life and for my uh, feeling. And I like to do that. I don't play too much football because I made that so much, but mm -hmm. I like to make jujitsu, surfing, as you see, and skiing or, or cycling. And it's important for my good balance. Okay. Um, you're also an ambassador for FC Bayern. What does the club still mean to you after all those years? So important, you know. Every time I'm, the time is going, and uh, and every time I'm saying the same thing. It was I was so lucky to to reach Bayern and to take this decision. You know, I was in Bilbao and I decided to to reach Bayern, and it was the best decision of my career. I won everything with Bayern, everything mm -hmm. possible, and I play in, in a fantastic team. And I learn what is you know the top level with Bayern, and and also which which club fantastic Bayern is and the tradition of the club and the respect they have for the player and the, and I've got a lot of emotion knowing that I'm still you know in the in the memory of of this club and and when Bayern offered me to 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 work for ambassador I said yes because I had my job in the media and it was not possible for me to make a full-time job you know because I had a lot to do with the media and I said well The, the relationship with Bayern is so great that I want to, to make something with Bayern. And, and that's why I decided to do that with the uh, ambassador job. And I made the different mission. I was in China, I was in India, I was in Indonesia, in America for Bayern. And it was interesting to do that and, and happy to do that for Bayern. That's good to hear. We have another fan tweet for you as well. Um, who do you think is the all-time Best left back for Bayern Munich. Wow, uh, it's it's very difficult to compare the generation to compare the, the footballs because uh, you know in France they are doing that with uh, the Platini generation and our generation. But I will say that it was so many very good left back, uh, you know, in Bayern like Breitner, like Philippe Lam, like uh, uh, Alava, also when he was playing on the left side, or like Alfonso David today you know and uh, and uh, and like i was too i think too and uh, so i don't want to play this game because it doesn't mean anything special what is important is to be part in a generation who win title for bayern and it's what i have done and uh, and uh, what is the most important for me Mm -hmm. We already saw that you, and you told us you were on so many different uh, tours with FC Bayern. You met so many fans all over the world. How important is it to get in this direct contact with the fans? And how did you experience this passion for FC Bayern all over the world? I think it's very important for, for, for us, like player, but for the club. And I remember when I was playing in Bayern, uh, we went in, in Bavaria, with the fan club, you know, sometimes, you know, very far, deep in Bavaria and the people was so crazy, uh, you know, to, to have us, you know, and, and it was a fantastic party with them and they were very happy. And now, uh, football changed and it's war, it's a worldwide now. And, and so we are doing that, you know, in, in China, in India. And I was interesting to see that. I was interesting to see how, how football is in, in this country and how Bayern is in this country. And I, I have seen that there is a lot of fans, you know, of Bayern in, uh, in China or in India, the, the two biggest uh, country uh, in the world. Mm -hmm. And um, it was a very good experience for me to, to, to see the change, you know, because our football was more, let's say, um, uh, European way of thinking, you know, and now we are talking about international football and we are talking about fans everywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned India and you have not been forgotten. You were there in 2018 and we received a nice picture. Uh, just wanted to tell him that he became the first FC Bayern player I ever met back when he visited India in 2018. Prapat did not forget you in India. How is it to see something like that? No, it's great. It's great to see that. And I remember there in India, I made a training session. So uh, it was very interesting to... to You know what is great to 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 give the the the, the passion of football and the trans transmission of football, but really playing. You know, 
playing or making a training. And it's what we have done there. And I'm happy that you have the memory of that. Mm -hmm. The fans in China are actually so passionate. Today, they had a fan event at the Paulana Broy House in Chengdu, China. And mind you, the game was at four o'clock here. So it was already 10 p.m., but they were cheering on the team against Olympique Marseille today. I think the Chinese market is a very special one. What was your experience there? Yes, it's a special one. It's a very big one. <laughs> When you travel in China, it's uh, something totally crazy, you know, a town of 10, 10 million people uh, that you don't know, you know, and, and they are 10, 10 million people. And so it's uh, so big and, and it's just the start, you know, they, 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 they don't have really the culture of football, so they, there is a lot to do. And um, it's, it's the start so maybe of a of, uh, uh, bigger relationship with, uh, with China and Bayern Munich. Mm -hmm. So hopefully soon the team can go visit them again. Uh, the whole week we have had a goal voting. We were looking for one of the best Champions League goals in the history of the knockout stage. And we're already in the final stage. We know that one guy in the finals is Arjen Robben. It was his goal against Manchester United. And then we're looking for his opponent. But let's have a look who the winner of yesterday's matchup was. Yep, and we have a Robin final. It's Arjen Robben against Manchester United versus Arjen Robben against Dortmund in 2013. Um, do you remember those goals? Did you see any of them? Yeah, the goal of, uh, of the final against Dortmund I remember because I was invited by Bayern and I was uh, uh, on the stadium. Mm -hmm. Okay, before we go and have a look at the bracket, let's, let's have a look at both goals again. will be a tough one to decide. Bishente, which one would you choose? I decide the, the match against Dortmund because this is the final. Of course, the goal against Manchester United is bully. It's more beautiful and technically maybe more difficult to do. But to make a goal in final, something spe special, you have a lot of tension. And, and so I prefer to say the goal against Dortmund. Okay, well, you guys can decide which one it is. Go a vote for it on Twitter or Instagram stories. Use the hashtag AudiFCBTour and tomorrow we will know who the winner is. Vicente, we have a few of your goals available as well, although maybe that was not your main task when you played for Bayern Munich, but do you maybe remember some of them? Well, yes, this one, of course, the Penalty, you know, in final against uh, Champions League final in Milan against Valencia. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, moment so important, lot of pressure. And this one, uh, the volley, my best goal with Bayern, I didn't put so much, but my best goal, this one, uh, this volley against Guisbo, uh, I think. And uh, look, everybody was crazy because they, never, they didn't imagine that I will put this goal. And then... Uh, I put uh, one week, two goals with my head <laughs> and it was funny because I'm only 169 and the press after that, they said I was Kopfball Ungeroya, which means <laughs> the, uh, I don't know, the legend of, of, of uh, I don't know in English how to say that, but uh, very good with my head, you know, and so it was funny to, to um, this week was funny. 
Yes, of course, Pete would still remember uh, when you played for FC Bayern, and obviously you do too. That's a very nice thing. Thank you for being on the show today with us. All the best for all the things that you're doing. You have a lot on your plate. Continue to do all the sports, and hopefully we can chat again soon sometime, okay? With pleasure, with pleasure. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Next up. We have an agility challenge for you guys. We already saw earlier on this week Tiago going up against Coutinho. And this, this week, not this week, today, we have a German challenge going on. Joshua Kimmich versus Leon Goretzka. Servus, ich bin Leon Goretzka. Und ich bin Josua Kimmich. Überraschend. Das ist eine Speedgeschichte, ne? Okay, bah. auf dich warte. Was ist kaputt gemacht dann? Lecko, schmecko. Bei den anderen sah das lockerer aus. Oh Gott. Bist du angeschnallt? Kann mich einer anschnallen bitte? Ich habe das Gefühl, ich werde gleich überrundet. Ja, bleib dran. Jetzt fahre ich locker heim. Ich glaube, ich habe die falschen Reifen drauf, kann das sein? Ich aus, pass auf. Ich mach unmöglich. das Auto komplett kaputt. Was ist jetzt? Ja, es ist vorbei. Aber total Schaden oder was? Ja. Ah ne, es ist vorbei, oder? In der Regel ist beim Ziel dann Schluss. <lacht> oh Gott, da gebe ich nochmal volles. Wo ist die Flagge? Da, rechts. Ne, war nicht so schlecht. Probier das erstmal zu knacken, da die 250. Das ist der Benchmark. If you want to find out who the winner of that challenge was, then please head over to the FC Bayern YouTube channel, where you can find, of course, the full-length video and all the other video clips that we've provided for you so far. Unfortunately, the team was not able to test in person in China this year, but we have something for you to reminisce the goals that they did before. They are called the Audi Football Summits, and we have the top five goals of the past years. Das ist klasse, das ist klasse für Robben! Wow! Robbery! Look at the run they've made here. It's Lewandowski with a glorious touch and turn! And a marvelous goal! A master of the arts! Robert Lewandowski makes it two for Bayern! Alaba, David Alaba, great shot, amazing. Oh, the beauty, beauty by Bastian Schweinsteiger and his trademark celebration. 
Ola will go for it on his own, and what a finish! And it's a wonderful goal for Thomas Muller, buying cruising in Singapore. That was Thomas Müller with a beautiful goal and now we have him doing a very special meet-up. Thomas Müller was talking to a Chinese athlete, a Chinese horse rider. His name is Alex Huatian. And then Robert Lewandowski was also talking to a Chinese athlete, the boxer Su Ximing. And here is what they talked about. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Wir reden heute mit dem großen Boxer aus China. Der Name ist Zushimin. Hallo, Leo. Alex Huatian. Er ist ein famous Rider in China. Ni hao, Thomas Muller. Ni hao, ni hao. <laughs> so, we want to make a challenge today as well. Ja, Tony Fixer. Ba bai biao. Ba bai biao bing ben bei biao bing pao. Ba beng pao bing pao. Ich kenne auch sehr gut die, ähm, die Sport als Boxer oder auch Judo. Ich denke, dass äh, die Zweikämpfe zwischen mir und die Gegner manchmal muss auch seine Körper benutzen. I'm happy to have both. I'm a footballer, but I also can li live with uh, my horses. It's, it's an adrenaline sport. Uh, you have to be uh, a little bit crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Ich habe ein paar Geschenke für dich und deine Familie. Und die Trikot. Oh, no, Nummer 25. That's my shirt. I will send it to you. Thank you very much for the gift. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, Thomas Müller said he will send him a gift and we have proof that he received it. Alex has posted photos of the Thomas Müller jersey, of course, not only him wearing it. He also posted a picture with him and his horse. Well, just the horse, actually. But the horse is not wearing the jersey. Maybe next time we can make that happen. We're almost at the end of our show for today, but I have a very special treat. As I told you, all the videos in full length are on the FC Bayern YouTube channel. And tomorrow there will be a very special clip for you to find there. Steve Aoki, yes, that's the famous DJ, turns out to be a huge FC Bayern fan. And he connected with Serge Gnabry and Javi Martinez, not only talking, but doing other things. Have a look. So I'm gonna, I'll, I'll explain how to do this. George, can you do it? I need to do training tomorrow, Javi, come on. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna try it. Let's go, search. Let's get this, let's do it. You guys ready? Yeah. All right, one, two, three, go! <laughs> That's intense, you know? <laughs> I do this for Bayern. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if that was just a teaser, I don't know what else the guys did, but you can find out tomorrow on the FC Bayern YouTube channel. Also, tomorrow on the studio, we will have the full highlights of today's test against Olympique Marseille. And I will talk to another FC Bayern legend. Lothar Matthäus is with us tomorrow. So if you have questions, please ask them using the hashtag AudiFCBTour. Also use the, ha use the hashtag MirsanFamily. And then I will see you again tomorrow. Looking forward to that. <laughs> <laughs>